Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Network, restoring vitality to you, horses, and the world. I'm Scott Patton, your co-host, along with Martin Patella, Life Enthusiast Health Coach, and I am in Southern Vancouver Island. It is January, and we are in the, the one part of Canada that does not freeze and get cold and lots of snow. And I thought just to do something a little bit different, I'm actually looking after three horses and four dogs for the last month and a couple more weeks to go. And I thought I would bring uh, the horse on, as you can see beside me, as, as our third guest, so to speak. <laughs> oh, Scott, you and your horsing around. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> good one. Good one, Martin. Oh, boy. So today we are going to be talking about <clears throat> You, you've often heard uh, people talk about something that's revolutionary, something that's going to change uh, the way everything came before. But we really think what we have to share with you today can do and will do that very thing. So, Martin, uh, maybe you can give us a little bit of a, uh, uh, an overview of what C60 is all about. Right. Okay, so about the, what it can do for you. It seems to be able to, yeah, there it is. I, I want to show you mine because I now have it with my own label on it. Um, it is a product that comes in a tube. It is uh, dispersed into oil. And so the way you take it is you just squirt a little bit of, of it in your mouth and it absorbs. What it does, it extinguishes ROS, reactive oxygen species. So whatever is causing the aging damage in your body is being extinguished. So either it's slowing down aging or maybe it's outright reversing it. I am not 100% sure about the linguistics of it, but I am feeling it. I am feeling it in terms of better focus, better mm, sustained power, sustained focus. Uh, I'm feeling it in, oh, I don't hurt when. And, uh, and I have been waking up with, um, as my friend calls it, the uh, kickstand. The kickstand. What's the kickstand? Well, most men should be waking up with an erection in the morning if they're still ah. equipment working. And uh, uh, it has not been an everyday thing for me for a few years. It's been an everyday thing for me since I started taking this. Something more for us to look forward to. I don't know. Uh, hot, <laughs> hot and bothered. <laughs> Awesome. So you've been taking uh, the product for about four, five, or six days now. Yeah, I'm on day six now. And I, t I got mine last night, and so I had some last night. I've had some today, and I would say it's too early for me to, you know, make any comment on it, other than the fact that, as I said to you before we went on the air, is I like it. You know, it's kind of like one of those things where, uh, you know, intuitively it's like, yeah, this is good stuff. I really like this stuff, and I like what it's doing, and. Uh, my friend Hobart here, he, she, he likes it too, but I, I haven't shared it with him yet. <laughs> it's green on the outside. It's green on the outside. He wants to eat it. Right. Uh, so the, the interesting part about this is uh, the C60. C60 stands for carbon 60. Carbon, we understand. Carbon is the element of all things organic. Like every plant, right? Um, we hear about carbohydrates, or carbohydrates are made from carbons and hydrogen. Uh, fats are carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen linked together. And protein is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen together. And so carbon is pretty important. It's in everything. It's, we are carbon life forms. So the carbon itself, you eat carbon all the time in various forms. Typically, it's connected to other molecules like carbon connected to oxygen, carbon yeah. connected to... Yeah, like we just talked about, right? Right. But this way, this carbon is connected to itself. 60 atoms of carbon are hooked together, in each one connecting to three others, 
because each carbon has four uh, valent electrons that it can connect to something else with. So it's it's just like this, and and these sixty are connected in a geodesic dome, soccer ball like object. So you can visualize it as something that has actually a space within. It's a cage. So anyway, the C60 seems to be the most efficient antioxidant going. And its biggest claim to fame is that it doesn't get extinguished by the interaction with the electropositive environment. Like with, for example, vitamin C, when vitamin C reacts with something that's hungry for an electron, the vitamin C hands over the electron to this uh, invader. Whatever. And uh, neutralizes it and the, car and the vitamin C is not worth anything now. Yeah, it's not worth anything until it goes and visits with gl glutathione and the glutathione now has to recharge the vitamin C. So the vitamin C has, can go back out to town and do its job. And the glutathione has to go back to the liver and get itself refixed. Well, so what you're saying is this is like a super vitamin antioxidant that never has to be recharged and never stops working. Right. Which I remember in my experience with mercury, when I was poisoned and toxic with mercury, I had the ultimate opposite of that. Because the one atom of mercury, you can try and extinguish it and it never can be extinguished. No matter right. how many vitamin C's you throw on it or whatever else you want to throw on it. It's the just, bottomless pit. Yeah, the bottomless negative. Well, this thing seems to be working on the principle of being a bottomless positive. Nice. So once you take it, it's not going to stop working after a couple of minutes. Right. It seems to be cumulative. Cum to ah, be cumulative. Forward. That's a good thing. Because right. we fill ourselves up with so many things that are... Uh, short well short term right it's like mm. you, you you mean you, like uh, the very basic you know you drink some water and you eat some food well three hours later you want more water and more food so uh you know you've got to keep filling it up filling it up and filling it up that's exactly right uh so <laughs> so what you're saying here is we have found something that uh, it's like plugging into the uh, power source of the universe and it's not going to stop I surely hope you're right, because that statement sounds wonderful, and it feels that way to me. Like, I'm talking to several guys. We have started a group of us on this. For example, uh, one of them says, well, day six, I stopped having to get up in the middle of the night to go pee. Another one, a bodybuilder says, I can push greater weights. And on day eight, he comes back and he says, not only can I push greater weights, I can go back and push that same muscle group the next day, which at this stage, wow. I had to wait a day or two before I could, could go back, right? Like normally you do, I don't know, bicep on Monday and uh, quads. Legs on, on Tuesday, Tuesday and then back to the, yeah, yeah. You, you rotate through because you got to give your body time to, to adjust and rebuild and everything else. But that's all oxidative damage that if, if this carbon 60 does what you say, means that we're going to be repairing it far faster. Right. That's what he's reporting. Beautiful. Uh, this other guy says, I came back for my haircut. Hairdresser says my hair is coming in dark. And another, and I can't wait a month from now coming in and it's yeah. telling you that this is all full of hair again. Well, we're working on it. I, I've been talking to the designer that uh, helped put it together. I will talk about the technical aspects of it in just a bit. But I was talking to him saying, could we design one that's skin compatible? And he says, oh, yes. yes, yes, we know how. Anyway, so the other story was this fellow would wake up in the middle of the night itching and have to apply some lotion to be able to go back to sleep. And since he's on this... The itching bouts don't show up. So I'm saying to him, well, that's histamine. So you're uh, not having the histamine reaction that you previous were having to who knows what. And I'm explaining to him that the frequent urination in the middle of the night is also caused by presence of histamine, this time in the urine. And so the fellow that is not needing to get up in the middle of the night for the same reason, 
it's just extinguishing this irritation in the body. Uh, yeah, those, those are about the most important stories I remember. Well, so physical, endurance, less irritation, clearer mind, clearer thinking. Well, Gray hair disappearing. Well, this is, take, take note, right? Let's see if this really does what it does. Right. It's not a magic pill. It's not going to cure everything overnight, but it's going to be helping your body deal with the stresses uh, that it gets on a day-to-day -day basis better than probably anything else that you're putting into your body right now. Right. As far as its chemical structure, it's no different chemically than uh, charcoal, activated charcoal, or, or burnt toast. Burnt toast. Uh, but we don't think that burnt toast, if you eat it, is going to give you as good a benefit as, as the... Uh, who knows? The, who knows? Yeah, who is, who is eating burnt toast every day for... Uh, I don't know. No, it probably won't. But chemically, it's the same thing. Chemically, it's physically the same Physically or electrophysically, it's not. Because it's now in this cage-like format that is self, how do I put it? You know, like normally you would have this carbon something interacting with something else, right? Like it would be breaking down. Well, for example, imagine methane, right? CH4. Uh, you connect two methanes together. You had CH3, CH3. That's ethane. And you hook an oxygen on it. Now you have ethanol. That's alcohol. Right? Like these, these things just interact with one another as they connect and they become this or that or the other. Well, this thing is just a ball of carbon that's inert and doesn't want to interact with anybody because it's sort of self-referencing. So, but you were talking about in an antioxidant, you're like vitamin C gives its electron to something else and then it has to go get recharged. So what's the carbon? How can the carbon give something and not have to recharge? Uh, mystery to me. Sorry, you got me. Okay. Okay. I, there's but that there's seems to be what it does. Yeah, there seems to be something of that sort going on because it does extinguish the ROS, the reactive oxygen species, which is the stuff that makes us age. Cool. So how is the product produced? Like what's, what's, what's in it? So it's out there. It has been out there for a couple of years. Well, maybe more than a couple, three years. People have been selling it experimentally, and they have been putting it into olive oil. So, which is what we've done. Which is what we've done. Um, so you just go get some lab-grade C60, knowing that, okay, you need to have C60. It, it comes to us as 99.9 something pure. Percent, yeah. And 220 milligrams. Right. So this bottle that you held up, I have one here also, um, this bottle contains 220 milligrams. The way we have uh, put it together is each squirt from the pump is one milligram. And you need about a squirt for every 30 pounds of body weight every day. So if you're 180 pounds, take six squirts. Right. That's six milligrams, and there's 220 squirts in the bottle so that will keep you going for about 35 six days each bottle what happens if you take too many squirts you'll be really extinguished and your bank account will drain faster but physically nothing will happen except you might feel better and better and better right it has been tested at ridiculous doses they tried to poison rats with carbon can't do it. Can't do it. How do you how do you poison a person with non poison? <laughs> right. Carbon is the basis of life. We're made of carbon. Putting yeah. more of what I'm made of into me is not a problem. And it's highly available, bioavailable, right? Like it's the body can use this carbon. So um, this fellow that we're working with, he says, "Don't tell my name to everybody. They'll be calling me." Anyway, he's a material scientist. He is, uh, has a few patents to his name. And he has worked a while back, like maybe 15 years ago, on a pesky problem of making photovoltaics. Yeah. 
Meaning, so we met, I met, we both gone and met him. Oh yeah, we both know him. Yeah. Anyway, so these photovoltaics, that essentially is a solar panels. He was making them with carbon 60. And he oh, okay. <laughs> and he figured out, he was using it as electronics. And he figured out how to disperse them evenly and uniformly. So what, what other people do these days is they take a large amount of olive oil and put the carbon in it, and then they put it into a magnetic stir and let it stir for a long time, like two weeks. Well, he's figured out how to disperse it uniformly using his engineering mind. He does it in 20 minutes, uh, not two weeks. So, ta-da. And he showed me pictures of it, and it's the same purple-colored liquid. It's kind of cute. The uh, carbon in oil, in oil at this certain dilution kind of looks reddish purple. Mm. If you push the concentration, it starts looking brown. And then when you make it pure, it looks black as soot. Right, because carbon's black. Carbon is black. Unless you have di diamond, then it's not. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's what's happening. Maybe we're making ourselves into... Uh, human diamonds, like in a in a uh, positive way, not in terms of the uh, yeah. can't move way. Shine Solid on way. your crazy shine diamond. On, that's right. Shine on your crazy diamond. Uh, okay. So where does where does C sixty come from? Like I've never heard of it before. You told me. Well, C sixty like, itself is manufactured either using a plasma method, where you shine some high energy beam at carbon electrode through helium where you're trying to emulate what happens in a star as it's exploding okay and so somehow you get a large percentage of c60 and then you purify it and you collect it and whatever the other method is somehow to burn something like a like a wick on a candle but that produces only about a quarter percent concentration of the C60. So then they have to go through some gyration. A lot of candles. <laughs> no, not that. It's just that they would have to purify and concentrate it, which I don't right. know how it's done. That's, that's beyond my pay grade. Right. The engineers have figured it all out. Right. I'm looking at it from the health coach side and I'm saying, oh, this is significant because I've been looking for ways to extinguish the oxidative damage and yep. look at this. It is really doing it. Very, very cool. So unlike the guys that are, sorry, unlike the guys that are doing the mixing of oil and C60 in these magnetic stirrers. For two weeks. For two weeks. What they get is a little bit of damage because when you're doing the vortexing, you're sucking in air into the liquid and in doing so, you're introducing oxidation and you're introducing possibly atmospheric contaminations. So that's going to extinguish some of your capacity. So I'm thinking that our product's going to be... Purer and more potent, yeah. That's just what I was thinking. Well, so that's probably all that needs to be said all about that. We have... Um, the product coming, it's available, it's not cheap, but it's well worth it. Oh, a friend of mine was listening to some YouTube videos from Russia. She's, okay. a, she's a Russian speaker, I might say. And she says, I'm just listening to it, and they're talking about some Russian oligarchs extending their life's life and life expectation using this weird thing called C60. Do you know anything about <laughs> All right. That I found it extremely interesting. Yeah, that's funny. Good. That's a very exciting new product for life enthusiasts. It is, and it could enhance most everything else that we do. Like this added on top of any superfood blend will do wonderful things. This added on top of healthy fats and other healthier diet will definitely improve the general functioning of the human body. Nice. At least it feels like that to me today. 
I certainly hope to be recording a follow-up in a month or so saying it was a good start. <laughs> Look at me now. Nice. All right. So, Martin, if someone wants to know more about the C60, maybe uh, ask about their specific situation, uh, what should they do? <clears throat> yes. Health Coach is available at life-enthusiast.com. The phone is 866-543-3388. We're here from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening of Pacific time. Happy to help people restore the vitality to them and to the planet. That's our motto. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.